Hello, welcome to another SY Diagnostics video, and today we've got a Ford Transit 2 litre that's got the engine management light on. Let's prove the fault. Let me put the foot on the clutch, put the ignition on, start the engine up, and as you can see, hopefully the engine management light stays on. So let's get some fault codes and let's take this job further, let's get it fixed. Okay, so we've done a code scan on the vehicle and in the engine we have P246B, vehicle conditions incorrect for particle filter regeneration and we've also got particle filter pressure sensor A, circuit range performance and that's P2453. Pretty certain I know what this fault is, it's uh, getting quite common now but let's show you the diagnostic methods um, to come to a fix on this vehicle. So let's have a quick look at some live data values here. Pop the ignition on. So straight away we've got the engine not running, uh, it's key on engine off and we've got an uh, intake pressure there, inlet pressure 563 kilopascals, far too high, that should be zero. Um, voltage of the sensor is 3.34 volts, obviously way too high, we should be looking around about 0 0.4, 0 0.45 and obviously it's been miscalculating the soot load 40% uh, on the open loop and 48% on the closed loop so let's go look at the DPF pressure sensor do some testing and let's get it fixed as with the uh, rear wheel drive versions of these vehicles the front wheel drive um, the sensor is still easy to get at it's just bolted to the side of the airbox unfortunately very difficult to undo the sensor connector without un first unbolting the sensor, which is only an eight mil bolt. So let me get the sensor off and let's just do some checks. And hopefully we'll get a diagnosis and an easy fix while somebody's revving the engine on an MOT. Right, so the first wiring test I'll do, I've just connected the connector on the sensor back up. I've got it connected onto pin two of the sensor, and I'm just going to battery ground, sorry, battery live. That's testing the ground, so we've got battery voltage there. I've not got it on support. Ignition's on, heater's on, and the lights are on, so obviously that's why the battery's a little bit low. So we've got 11.6 volts there. That's confirming we've got a good ground. Okay, so now I'll go into pin 3, which is the 5 volt reference. And we've got 5 volts there, so that's all good as well. And next I'll put it into pin 1. And that's confirming we've got the 3.5 volts as shown on live data. So if I disconnect the sensor now, with the circuitry inside the ECU, that should go to 5 volts. So that's it disconnected, let's pop it back onto a ground again. And that's gone to 5 volts on the signal wire, indicating that the circuitry inside the ECU is all OK. So that's confirmation to me that we need a new sensor. So let's get a new sensor fitted and confirm the fix. So we've now got the new sensor fitted, let's go now and get the uh, sensor calibrated, relearn the values, see we've got plausible live data values and call it a fix. Right, let's just turn the ignition on. So straight away there without even calibrating it we can see that we've got um, zero pressure which we should have with the engine not running and we've got um, 0.43 of a volt which is correct obviously soot loadings are still incorrect so let's now go and calibrate it let's just stop the live data and go into uh, da, 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 da. where are we looking where are we looking shout out if you see it uh, there we go took some finding so let's Reset the learnt values. Oh, sorry for sniffing, I've got the man flu. So I'll turn the ignition off. And that's calculate, sorry, that's uh, recalibrated that successfully. 
So now, I see actually what I've got to do. I've now got to go in and clear the fault codes. So let's clear the fault codes. It's going to ask me to cycle the ignition. That's ignition off and back on again. Obviously that's cleared them. Let's pop some live data back up again. I'll tell you what, let's put RPM on there to prove that the engine's running. So, let's start her up. Let me foot on the clutch. Ignition off, ignition on. So the engine management light's gone out. Airbag light's gone out, luckily. Staying out. And we've got uh, two kilopascals. Was that 20 millibars? A little bit high. 0.46 is what I'd expect. So I've got two choices now. I take it for a road test and let it recalculate itself. Or I can do a forced regeneration. But I'm going to go for the road test route. Let it recalculate itself. If it does go above 100% then it will go into a regeneration. So I'm sure you don't need to see that guys. So nice little quick fix there for you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, share the video. Helps the channel grow. And then until next time, thanks for watching.